Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. Behind me is a 2020 Cimarron Steerwalt Signature Series that we're going to walk through today. This trailer is 30 foot on the floor. It is 8 foot wide. And it's 6 4 tall. Over the last few years, this size of a trailer has probably become the most popular cattle trailer out there that we have sold, carry, order for customers. And one of the main reasons why is because of uh, the, the added about two extra feet compared to the 28 footer that was really, really popular there for a while. And a lot of that extra footage is put in some different places. Sometimes customers want that in the stall area Sometimes they want it in the tack area. Sometimes they want to split it between the two. But in a 30 foot option, we can keep you with 8,000 pound axles. And again, the most popular air ride option. Um, we can jump up into nines and tens. As we go bigger on this trailer, the engineers at Cimarron will go ahead and recommend that we up that axle size, but it keeps it very manageable. And again, that air ride option when you look at it over the life of the trailer is what you really need to look at that added cost to the trailer, not just the one-time purchase. Again, how many head are we gonna put on this trailer and haul over, all over the country? Um, we've done interviews with quite a few air ride customers and they will swear to you that they can cut at least a day off of their travel time from a recovery standpoint for the cattle. Cattle will think that they're in the barn, they'll lay down in these trailers, they're fresher when they come off, when they step off this trailer, they can almost go to the show ring. It is a game changer out there in the industry. But on this trailer, let's take a look at some of the features and some of the things we've done to this. On this one, we went ahead and added this enclosed roll-up door. It just keeps everything nice and clean behind here, but also gives a nice clean finished look to the trailer. Behind it, we have the single leg electric over hydraulic jack with a manual override. One thing that we've done is we've moved the spare tire that's normally to the left of the hydraulic jack and we've moved it over here to the right of it. And our thought was, is it kind of seemed like we were wasting some space it felt like because we have this battery box up here for the battery to run the air ride system. So we decided to move the spare over we had Cimarron build these four big hooks. They're nice and deep. They're heavy, heavy duty. So if you are carrying some big extension cords, big hoses, just some extra things that you can store behind here out of the way. And then we also put a solid floor on the bottom. So that's a great place for carrying your tire changing equipment. You can actually throw luggage in here. It's with this roll up door is gonna keep it nice and clean. I mentioned the battery box. We also have a battery disconnect. So when we get somewhere, we can turn that off and, and kill all power to the trailer so we're not draining the battery in case the light got left on. And then over to the right is the air ride system, the compressor. It's all self-contained. Runs off of that battery in there. And then your truck will work as a trickle charger as you're going down to the road to that battery as well. But this is a very, very simple system to use. It's on and raise. Right now I have it in the raise position. We say it time and time again, we prefer you load your animals and your equipment when it's in the lower position, just because it's about two and a half inches lower to the ground. Our angle of the ramps aren't as steep and it, every, again, everything's just closer to the ground. And then when you're loaded, you can go ahead and raise it to the on position, the compressor will kick back on, and you go down the road. Very, very simple system to use. There's one other thing that we did on this, is we put a light underneath the gooseneck. And at nighttime, when you go to hook this trailer up, you can turn this on, and it actually shoots off of this enclosed front end and kind of lights the whole back of your your truck up so hooking up you're not in the dark as we come over to the tack side 
Um, we put a ramp on passenger side of this trailer with the man door coming in from driver's side. I know everyone kind of has personal preferences. Um, we do typically see the, the ramp going into the front tack room and the stall area on the same side for the most part. Some people like it the other way. It's completely up to you. We can build you whatever you want. For inventory purposes, we try to usually have this set up. And one of the main reasons why is it's more of just safety. So if, for example, we have an issue on the side of the road, whether it's flat tire, truck issue, something like that, and you pull off, well, typically this is curbside. So I can lay this ramp down on curbside away from traffic and have the man door that I can just hop in and close immediately after. Uh, but again, if you want the setup flipped around, that can be done. This is a five foot front tack room. Kind of the most popular is a five or six. We're seeing a lot of six foot tack rooms uh, being built and, and us inventorying as well. But as you can see, we carpeted this whole wall right here. We put just some nice big hooks again for some storage. And this tray up top is actually for your plexiglass that you can take out of your air gaps in the back and store up there so they're not floating around on the, on the deck of this trailer. We've got a gate here that folds down just to kind of hold some items up in the gooseneck. And then the other thing on this trailer is this bracket over here on this door behind it, we can put four fans motor down and slide all the way up there. That way your fans aren't riding around on the deck of this trailer bouncing around. Uh, it's harder on the equipment but with this they can secure, they're up out of the way. I always tell everybody this is a good spot to maybe store your uh, show sticks, or if you've got an old one you just wanna keep in here, the reason why is you'll be able to kinda of grab your first and second fan out pretty easily, but then you can take your show stick, catch the cage of the third, catch the cage of the fourth, and just slide them back to you, so it's a little bit easier to, to get to those. Um, we went ahead and put a boot box in here. One just for kind of some little miscellaneous storage so it's not bouncing around, but then also it's a good step to get up into the gooseneck and get some items. I really do, um, some custom, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> sorry, we put some tire shine down on there. It is normally not that slippery. I'm okay. <laughs> um, so, Typically, some customers will say, hey, I just need a ramp. I don't need a man door, but I do prefer a man door going into that tack room, whether we put it on the partition wall or like how we have it set up. And the reason why is because if for some reason, safety purposes, if somebody is in that tack room and that ramp gets shut, they cannot get out of there. So I prefer putting another man door in there, whether it's like how we have it set up or we put one on the, on the partition wall that you can get back into the stall area. So you can do either or. Um, as we get into the stall area, again, we've got a, a side ramp going in there. Let's be a little cautious. We don't have the, the, the slippery tire shine on this floor that we did on that tack floor. So we should be good. This is a 25 foot stall area here. So this is what makes these Cimarron's and this setup so cool. Is you see this gate back here that's set. And then there's a secondary gate right up here. I've got it shoved against the partition wall right now. So if I need to create more stalls, manipulate stall size, I can do that. I can actually roll that other traveling gate up and store it right in here, and then I've got one big open stall area. Or I can roll that gate back, now I have three stall areas. But most importantly is these traveling gates. They are so cool and so easy to use. You see these tracks from the, from the roof rather than the tracks on the side. On those on the side, one, you have to worry about going over escape doors and, and side ramps. 
but also typically on this side, potentially manure can get in them, kind of making it a little bit harder for those gates to, to slide. But I wanna show you how they function and how easy they are. As you look down the side of this trailer, you see an upright post every foot. And then as you get around door frames and also wheel wells, you'll see notches cut in there. So that's so that traveling gate can actually attach to that or it'll go around those smaller posts there. You'll notice no threshold, so cattle aren't having to step over anything. On this one here, we did the swing gate, but I'm gonna show you how easy these are to use. You just unhook from the wall, and you kind of stand about center. I mean, this is just one hand, just slowly gliding it across. And then when I get to where I want to lock it into place, flip those in and you're good to go. So we can do these traveling gates with different setups. Again, this one here, we did the 48 inch swing. The first gate actually has a slider on it and it's no threshold as well. So again, cattle aren't having to step over that. We can do a full whip swing gate on these as well. It's really up to you and what you prefer. And on this with this swing, some people have asked why we kind of switched from over the years, you know, pretty much everything is hinged over here and swings that direction. We've actually kind of reversed that, but we have to think about majority of the time we're gonna be loading and offloading cattle on this side ramp. So we've kind of reversed how we load them and how we're gonna unload them. So what we can do is we can bring cattle in, we can swing this gate this direction, walk the cattle in, tie them up. But the same thing when we go to untie and unload, if this was flipped the other way, we'd have to be going around the gate, which makes it a little bit more difficult. So we kind of flipped our thinking on that setup right there. If you prefer sliders on both these, we can have a, another gate built that for this trailer. We can remove that one and put that one in with the slider. Or if you want two with the 48 inch swings, we can do that as well. Um, that's the one nice thing about these setups because this track goes four foot off the back of this trailer, we can go in and add a third gate if you want to down the road. Now we don't have a spot up front here to store it because this is how that trailer was built to store the two gates. But if again, if you want a third gate, that can easily be added in here as well. We haven't even touched on, on how much cooler these Cimarron's run because of that insulated roof. It'll take substantial hail without denning it but most importantly, it keeps the stall here so much cooler. We also have your tie rails high and low. You'll notice a big air gap down here. I'll touch on that outside a little bit as well on those fold downs. But our cattle, their chest floor is their radiator. So this, getting that air movement down low helps keep them nice and cool. You have that roof, you have the roof vents, you can manipulate airflow in these trailers quite a bit. Uh, but that's a nice little thing that we have. And, and again, a lot of these cattle are actually gonna lay down like they think they're in the barn on a long trip. One thing I forgot to mention is there's, we went ahead and put a couple extra light switches and these are right inside the side ramp. So I don't have to go to that back corner, but I can turn off my exterior lights load lights, and then my stall lights from this switch as well. So we were talking about that lower air gap. And what we opted on this trailer is the fold down air slat rather than the plexi on the bottom. Just so it is so much easier for you to run around and open this trailer up. When you leave on a really cold morning and it gets hot, you can run around and open those up without having to mess with that plexiglass. Exterior tie rails high and low on both sides of the trailer. So if you are tying out, you've got that. 
Cimarron has come up with a new system as well for uh, a tie rail that goes over your wheel wells. That can be added to this trailer if you'd like. I mentioned that we have this trailer aired up right now. So again, it raised it about two and a half inches on where if we had it dumped and lowered. So again, changing the angle of those, those ramps. Those are 17 five inch wheels with 16 ply tires. So you have good running gear underneath this trailer. We have a swing gate at the back with a slider. We actually built that slider a little bit wider. It's a 36 inch wide slide. So again, a lot of times we're taking big fat steers, uh, bread heifers, you know, just bigger bodied animals. That way we just give it a little bit more room and them loading or unloading type of a scenario. I mentioned we have light switches back here to run those interiors, all sides of the trailer in the back for load light. So you have plenty of lighting around this trailer. Over here on driver's side, I got all those air gaps opened up so you can see that. So that is a big, big air gap there. Again, we can create a lot of airflow through there, keeping the cattle nice and cool. I didn't touch on it, but you see a bunch of marker lights on top. We added a few more and we went with a button light option on this one. Um, it's just a nice sleek look to it. And at nighttime, it looks really, really good. As we get to the front tack room, again on this driver's side, we've got that big door with the step going in there so it's nice and easy for you to hop in there. Just be careful of the tire shine on the floor. It'll get you. So again, this is a 2020 Cimarron Steerwalt Signature Series. 30 foot on the floor, five foot front tack, 25 foot stall area, two traveling gates. Most importantly, this is an air ride trailer. Talk to somebody that has air ride and I guarantee you they will tell you that they will never own another trailer without air ride when they're hauling these show cattle all over the country. Just for reference, if you're interested in this trailer, it is stock number 5N190137. Again, my name is CJ Altmerg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. If you have questions on this trailer, anything else we have in inventory, or want to talk about custom building a trailer, give us a call, 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in, and thank you.